I think that e-practice that you was a very good initiative. Uh, it's a good start to at least have a place where you can find and search for projects and learn about other projects that might be similar to your own case and, and to be able to track some information uh, in that matter. Also, because there's a lot of information uh, about activities, uh, we can, if we want, always be informed um, about what is going on. Denmark uh, has is, is quite a uh, high, well, high level of involvement actually. Uh, when uh, it has been measured, uh, we are we are normally in the top ten. Um, the Accenture measurement we were on the top three. Um, I think it's because most of all that uh, the accessibility of e-government solutions um, is very hard. Uh, you you can uh, find a lot of, a lot of solutions and, and paper is diminishing. And also because there has been in Denmark a great focus on common standards, uh, public standards between the, the public sector uh, across the public sector, and. Uh, a focus on promoting uh, the digital solutions, which is a job in itself. A focus on taking in the user at an early stage, stage and a focus on reorganizing the processes in order to actually make better services when uh, creating a digital solution. Um, uh, well, as it has been said before, um, I don't think either that the technical issues are necessarily the most important ones. I think that you should not un underestimate the organizational ones, um, or the semantic ones for that matters. But I mean, in a country like Denmark, where we still have a public sector in boxes, uh, even though we try to break them down, the organizational um, interoperability problems are much bigger than you would actually think and you should uh, it's very important not to forget that because it is first step, step if you want to move on and you, if you want to to create solutions together and make benefits out of it <laughs>